Ok, đây là ngọc này Sốc xe bài chế tế Ngày dường mà mình chọc uh, PTP này uh, Rương The Rain Cam Rồi bỏ dường hãy nè Ok, này dường dường màn phần màn đá Hãy uh, Cho cả anh bỏ phụ dường Nhận đường định đá Ok, này chỉ chỉ uh, uh, PTP cứ chụp hiệp chọp đá nè chẳng là con đường này cứ miền tây bay sri tiền nè ok chẳng dừng chọp là con đường phía tây bay đi hái the rain cam nè ok ta chẳng cầm ao can pe yếu dừng mình to cho tới con đường cả ông nan rồi bỏ dừng tay mình đòn ta dừng ăn ở đây ok let's read together ok the sang uh, she sang a song and her own voice kept her company. The ancestors have said Uganda must die. The daughter of the chief must be sacrificed. When the lag monster feasts on my flesh, the people will have rain. Yes, the rain will come down in torrents. The wind will blow, the thunder will roar, and the floods will wash away, and uh, the sandy beaches. When the daughter of the chief die in the lake, my age group has consented. My parents have consented. So have my friends and relatives. Let Uganda die to give us, us rain. My age group are young and rape. Rape uh, for womanhood and motherhood. But Uganda must die young. Uganda must live it with the ancestors. Yes, rain will come down in torrents. The red rays of the setting sun embraced Uganda, and she looked like a burning candle in the wilderness. The people who came to her to hear her sad songs were touched by her beauty but they all said the same thing if it is to save the people if it is to give us rain then not be uh, then be not afraid your name will forever live uh, among us At midnight, Uganda was tired and weary. She uh, could walk no more. She sat under a big tree and, having sipped water from the calabash, she rested her head on the tree trunk the, and uh, slept. Then she woke up in the morning. The sun was high in the sky. After walking for many hours, she reached the tongue. The a strip a strip for of land that separated <coughs> the inhabited a uh, part of the country from the Sacred place, Kalamo. No layman could uh, enter this place and come out alive. Only who, uh, those who had direct contact with the spirits and the um, uh, Almighty were allowed to enter his holy of holies. But Uganda had no pulse, and threw his uh, this sacred land on her way to the lake, which she had to reach at sunset. 
a large crowd gathered to see her for the last time. Her voice was now hoarse and painful. But there was no need to worry anymore. Uh, so soon she would not have uh, to sing. The crowd looked at Uganda sympathetically, uh, mumbling words she could not hear. But none of them pleased, uh, pleaded for their for her life as Uganda opened the gate. A child, a young child, broke loose from the crowd and ran toward her. The child uh, took a small earring from her sweetie hands and gave it to Uganda, say, uh, saying, When you reach the world of the dead, uh, give the ear this earring to my sister. She died last week. She forgot this ring. Uganda take a, a back by the strange request, L took the little ring and handed her precious water and food to the child. She did not uh, need them now. Uganda did not know whether to laugh or cry. She had uh, heard mons uh, mourners sending their love to their sweethearts long dead but these ideas of sending gifts was new to her uganda held her breath as the as she crossed the barrier to enter the sacred land she looked appealingly at the crowd but there was no response their minds were too uh, preoccupied with their own survival rain was the precious medicine that they were longing for and the sooner uganda could get to her destination the better a strange feeling uh, possessed the princess as she picked her way in the sacred land. There were strange noises uh, that often startled her and her first reaction was no taking no uh, was to take to the to her heels. But uh, she remembered that she had to fulfill the wish of her people. She was exhausted, but the path was still winding. Uh, then suddenly the path uh, ended on sandy land. The water had retreated miles away from the shore, leaving a wide stretch of sand. Beyond this uh, was the vast uh, expanse <coughs> of water. Uganda felt afraid. She wanted to picture the size and la a sharp of the monster but uh, fear would not let her the people did not talk about it nor did the crying children who were silent at the mention of its name <coughs> <coughs> The sun was still up, was still up, but uh, it was no longer hot. For a long time, Uganda walked 
ankle deep in the sand. She was exhausted and longed desperately uh, for her calabash water. As she moved on, she had a strange feeling that something was following her. Was it the monster? Her hair stood erect and uh, a cool a cold uh, paralyzing feeling ran along her spine. She uh, looked behind sideways and in front, but there was nothing except a cloud of dust. Uganda began to hurry, but the feeling did not leave her, and her whole body seemed to be bathing in its uh, perspiration. The sun was going down fast, and the lake shore seemed to move along with it. Uganda started to run. She must be at the lake before sunset. As she ran, she heard a noise coming from behind. She uh, looked back sharply and something re resembling a moving bush. Uh, frantically running after her, it was about to catch with catch up with her. Uganda ran with all her strength. Uh, she was now determined uh, to throw herself into the water. Even before sunset, she did not look back but the creatures was upon her. She made an effort to cry out as a, in a nightmare. But she could not hear her own voice. The creature catch, uh, caught up uh, with Uganda. A strong uh, hand grabbed her, but she fell flat on the sand and fainted. When the leg breeze th uh, brought her back to consciousness, a man was be, uh, bending over her. Oh, Uganda opened her mouth to speak, but she had lost her voice. She swallows a mouthful of water, pouring into her mouth by the stranger. Oh, Cinda, oh, Cinda, please let me die. Let me run. Uh, the sun is going down. Let me die. Let me let them have rain. Oh, Cinda, uh, fondle the glittering chains around uh, Uganda's waist and wipe tears from her face. We must escape quickly to an unknown land. Osinda said gently, We must run away from the red uh, of the ancestors and uh, retaliation of the monster. But the curse is upon me. Osinda, I am not, I am no good for you anymore. And moreover, the eyes of the ancestors will follow us everywhere, and bad luck will be for us. Nor can we escape from the monster. Ogenda uh, broke loose, afraid to escape, but Oshinda uh, grabbed her hands again. Listen to me, Ogenda, listen. Uh, here are two quotes. He then covered the whole of Uganda's body except her eyes with a leafy attire made from the twigs 
after uh after what's that bow of both of boom boom okay this will uh, protect us from the eyes of the mon ancestors and the uh, wrath of the monster now let m us run out of here he heard Uganda's hand and they ran from the sacred land avoiding the path uh, that Uganda had followed the bush was thick and uh, the long grass in tangle their feet as they ran halfway halfway through the sacred, uh, sacred land they stopped and looked back the sun was almost touching the surface of the water they were frightened they uh, continue to run now faster to avoid the skinning uh, sinking uh, sun have fat uganda that thing will not reach us when they reached the barrier and looked uh, behind them trembling only a tip of the sun could be seen above the water surface it is gone it is gone uganda web hiding her face in her hands weep not the daughter of the chief let run let's let us run let us rescue there was a lightning flash in the distance they looked frightened that night it rained in the torrents as it had not done for a long long time okay this is the end of our story the rain camp by Grace A. O. God. Okay, chẳng xem lại rồi này, cứ dừng chấp trầm nặng hơn nữa. Okay, ta dừng chỉ giam an lang vinh tặng ở Okay, bye bye. See you in. Uh, See you in the next uh, video.